Hello and Happy New Year and welcome to Virtual Church for today. It might feel like a funny start to 2021, but we know that God is faithful whatever else is happening. Now, unfortunately, we're not allowed to run children's work in church at the moment, so we will have to meet like this again. Today, we celebrate Epiphany, which is the day that we remember the wise men visiting Jesus. If you remember, they found Jesus by following a star. Let's think, how good are you at following directions? I've got a selection of things here which might help us find our way. So first of all, I've got a compass, which helps to show us whether we're going north, south, east, west. Will that help you find the way? Well, it might do. Here on my tablet, I've opened up Google Maps. That should help me find the way quite helpfully. I think perhaps you have a paper map which will help you find the way. The wise men had a star. I'm not sure how easy I would find that. Which do you think are the easiest to understand? Let me read to you the passage from Matthew's Gospel from chapter 2 about the wise men who came to find Jesus. A while later, Mary and Joseph had some very important visitors. They were wise men from far away lands in the east. They had seen the bright star in the night skies. They believed that something great had happened, so they travelled a long distance. They went to King Herod in Jerusalem. We believe a king of the Jews has been born. We saw his star in the east. We've come to worship him, they said to Herod. Herod knew nothing about Jesus' birth. He asked the religious leaders, where is the king of the Jews supposed to be born? In Bethlehem, they answered. Because they knew that answer because that was what the prophets had said many years earlier. When did the star appear? Herod asked the visitors. Herod wanted to find out as much as possible about this new king. He did not want anyone taking away his throne. Herod was very cruel and thought of a plan. He ordered the wise men, go and honour him. When you have found him, come and tell me. I want to do the same. The wise men went to Bethlehem. They followed the star until it stopped. When they went into the house, they saw baby Jesus in Mary's arms. They smiled and they laughed. Their long journey had been worth it. They had found the king. The wise men unloaded their camels. They had brought rare and beautiful gifts to the little family. Mary and Joseph's eyes grew round. Why, these are gifts fit for a king, Mary whispered to Joseph. He nodded. One of the wise men bowed before her. We've travelled a long way. The star showed us where to go. Here is gold for a great king. The second wise man came up to Mary. It doesn't happen often that such a large star appears suddenly. That baby will be the greatest of all men. He laid a jar of myrrh at Mary's feet. Myrrh is a very special perfume which could only be worn by very important men. The third wise man smiled at Mary and Joseph. This is incense for burning. It will make the air sweet. Incense is pleasing to God. We don't know how, but this king is both man and God. Mary and Joseph thanked the men. They all bowed their heads in prayer. They thanked God for bringing Jesus into the world. The night before the visitors were due to go back home, they had a strange dream. In the dream, God warned them not to go back and see King Herod. The wise men believed the dream and they went home a different way. The wise men trusted God to guide them. They followed the star and travelled a long way when they found him. They gave him gifts and bowed down and worshipped him. It can't have been easy to set off on that long journey just following a star. The wise men trusted God for directions to Jesus. So what are you trusting God for at the moment? What do you want God to do for you this year? So I've given you two activities today on the email that I've sent. Uh, the first one is a star. So I've drawn a star, which you can cut out. You can print and cut out, or you can just draw your own, obviously. Think about the answers to those questions. What are you trusting God for? And what do you want God to do for you this year? Write or draw the answers on your star and then decorate it and hang it up somewhere to remind you all through the year about that. And then you can see if God has given you those things. The other activity is to make a signpost again to remind us of what we're doing. So you'll find an arrow shape on your 
uh, email. And on your arrow, I'd like you to write these words, God's way. And then obviously you can decorate it and make it better than mine. And stick it onto a little stick or a straw, or I've used a pencil for mine. And keep it somewhere to remind you to keep going God's way. So I hope you have a great week this week. And if you're able to go back to school, then it's that you have a good start to the new term. Bye.